a sheep eyes. Hey guys, Mabuhay, it's Maria, or should I say hola? Bienvenidos a Puerto Rico. So we're here right now at Tostado having our breakfast. They said that they have the good, authentic Puerto Rican coffee here. So look at this beautiful cafe con leche. It's not like an American omelette style. This one is like folded egg with stuff of bacons and cheddar cheese inside. What is the cookies? Plantain in breakfast. Why not? Soft bun here. It's good. And most of the people eating here are locals. The coffee is really good. Puerto Rican coffee. And also I like the soft uh, bread they have. And New York price as well. Oh, look at the waves. If you're renting a car, there is like a parking here, which is actually not that expensive at all. So we're right here in the historical Old San Juan and we're checking out that one right there. The Castillo San Felipe del Moro. This cemetery is located in beside El Moro Fort and Castillo San Cristobal. So that is the Castillo El Moro. Look at this, and overlooking at the ocean right there, the gate of the cemetery. So this is one of the oldest cemetery. Cementerio Santa Maria Magdalena de Pazis. It's open 7 to 3 o'clock p.m. We're just right in time. This cemetery is just in front of this ocean breeze. I don't like going in cemetery. I never appreciated cemetery like this in my life. <laughs> Normally cemetery is sad and dark. This one is hauntingly beautiful. Look at this, the oceans in the back. I'm a Filipino. We've also been colonized by Spaniards. So mostly I can relate to the aesthetic of the cemetery. We are Roman Catholic and Puerto Rico are similar when it comes to religion. I was stunned with amazing sculpture and you can see how old it is this was 18th century how amazing is that this cemetery has been used since 1814 so imagine whose people here buried this cemetery has been completed in 1863 is a name in honor of maria magdalena de Pazzi. she's a spanish carmelite who advocated for the renewal of the church and currently this cemetery has approximately 2,173 tombs, 32 niches in the base of the chapel, and 464 niches in the columbarium. This cemetery become a final resting place of many notable Puerto Ricans. Still in use, you can even buy for sale right there. One tomb is for sale. Look how huge this is grass field is. And the Castillo del Moro is actually more minutes of walk right there. And the cemetery is just down here. At least it's very windy. But it's too sunny, don't forget. The sunblock and going here. Basically, we're visiting it 11.33. So look at this one here. It is the 30 feet high vertical wall. So you can see right there. That is where they're attacking their opponents, passing here. The first defense, and if someone gets past it to do the door, there is another attack coming right there. If you want to go inside, that is the price. No cash accepted. Stepping into the past, Centrado al Pasado. So this is the main plaza. Plaza de Armas. Attention, stay hydrated. It's super hot here. They're actually closed. This is the well in the main plaza. So this is where they attack the canyons.
This is the defensive structure. So that this is the symbolizes the power of Spain held in Caribbean. And also this is what they said the key historic features of the city of San Juan and a source of local pride. And this is the entrance of the castle. So this is the first defense for the gun pointing out vertically, entering the gate. Also on the other side. The canyon rails attacking the enemies. Okay, we found an iguana. Oh, so cute. <laughs> My boy chilling. <laughs> Your boy chilling. Hi. Look at this beautiful Puerto Rico. Let's get some souvenirs here. Oh, this is the Puerto Rican frog, Koki. Oh, here you go. Oh, the canyon. There's no restroom inside. Just beside the entrance is the restroom. We're gonna try the local ice shave piragua. This is a shave ice with guava flavor. That's it. This is a local refreshment drinks. Order for the guayaba, which is the guava flavor. It's a must to try the piragua if you're visiting Puerto Rico. Oh, it's so good. I think you can drink like this, babe. So we're going to go to Don Ruiz Coffee, which is a famous Puerto Rican coffee shop inside the Balyaja. So they said that this is the authentic local Puerto Rican coffee that they use here and it's a must to try it. Hey! Hello cutie! This is the protector, the gourd of Don Ruiz coffee. Funky Monkey. That's my girlfriend. I'm ordering that for you. I want this. Tropical Coco Mocha. So they have setting card here. And they even have drop beer. Drop beer sizes is right here. Dunderby Space. They have baked goodies as well. They're offering some old day brunch. Apart from coffee, they have some tea menus here. And also they're selling at Don Ruiz authentic Puerto Rico coffee bins. So we've ordered for a funky monkey which got it like banana flavor and charcoal. And this one is a tropical cocoa which is coffee with coconut. Also coconut. banana and coconut. Yeah. Oh okay. And chocolate. Mm-hmm. There we go. Cheers. This is a coffee machine I think that they're using for coffee beans. And the history is written on the walls. We're right here inside the Cuarta de Vallejo. This is a former Spanish barracks. As you can see, it's beautiful. It's very old Spanish structures here. And then the Don Ruiz coffee shop is just right in here. And we got the Funky Monkey coffee. And my boyfriend has a, a tropical cocoa. Let me try the tropical cocoa first. Oh, this is good. This is the Funky Monkey. This is a cocoa beans with banana. Monkey loves banana, right? This is iced coffee, which is very perfect for the tropical weather here in Old San Juan. And imagine like having iced coffee in this beautiful historical view itself is such an experience. just right on my back as you can see is the Puerto Rican sweet ice cream or the helado so we're gonna try it out how it tastes like so let's go look at all this waiting for the helado helado is actually ice cream in English oh, 
Hola. Hola. Eh, ¿Cuánto es el pequeño? Cuatro dólares. Cuatro dólares. ¿Es grande? ¿Cuánto? Sí. Cinco. Eh, ¿Grande? Coco, eh, pacha y qué. ¿Qué es muy bueno? Todos son. Todos es muy bueno. ¿Todos son todos posibles? Sí, claro. Eh, yes. Gracias. Gracias. ¿Cómo le llamas? Antonio. Antonio. Señor Antonio. So we're having this one is fresa, strawberry. This is pineapple, passion fruit, and cocoa. Gracias, señor Antonio. It's much better than the shape. Better than the shape, guys. It's a lot easier to eat because it gives you. Oh, that's let me try. Look at this. So pretty. So this is um coconut, pineapple, passion fruit, and. And a strawberry mix. Let's try this. Mm. Oh, this is sorbet in Italian. Sorbet style. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, definitely better than the piraguas. Mm. This is muy, muy bueno. So delicious. Highly, highly recommended if you're visiting the Castillo San Felipe del Moro. Just beside the Valleja is Mr. Antonio's ice cream. So get it, get it. It's so delicious. Hello, Puerto Rico, cheers! <laughs> Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Listen, one, look at this houses. It's traffic. So Just walk. Just walk, right? For tourists, you have to walk. So, <laughs> one of our ancestors in Puerto Rico, Familia Rivera. Hello, babe. Oh, no. I make it Chinese. <laughs> Some grave is open. No? The big, big, how is it? Big away. <laughs> ah. 